Steele, and I'm here at Fresh Street Market in West Vancouver. Well, March is Nutrition Month, and dietitians across Canada are inspiring Canadians with solutions to some of the common challenges that occur with eating nine to five, so eating at the workplace. And today I'm focusing on healthy lunches and some of the things that might help save time. Did you know that 45% of Canadians find it challenging to eat well at the workplace? And one of those challenges is healthy lunches. If you make your own lunch and bring it from home, you will consume less fat, less sodium, and less sugar than if you were buying your food out, typically. And you'll probably have a smaller portion size than what you might get at a fast food restaurant. So it really makes it worthwhile to make your own lunch and bring it from home if you can. But sometimes there's a few challenges. So first, let's start off with the ingredients that you're going to need. So if you can get yourself a nice tote bag, something that you feel comfortable carrying around or being able to put into your knapsack or whatever it is, something that's big enough to fit all of your containers so that you don't have a whole bunch of other little things floating around. One of the most important things to have in your lunch bag is a bottle of water. This doesn't have to fit inside, but you want to be able to have this sitting on your desk and be able to take it to all your, your meetings so that you have fluid throughout your day. The next thing you want to think about is uh, thermoses or something that will keep food hot and cold food cold. Uh, so this is for keeping your hot food hot. And then some airtight containers. I like glass containers if I'm going to be reheating food at the office and make sure that they have a nice lid so that you're not getting spills inside your um, inside your bag. The other thing I have is an ice pack and that can help me keep my lunch cold if I'm on the road and going various places. I don't have a refrigerator with me, but if you do have a refrigerator at your office, then just pop your lunch bag into that refrigerator. And finally, don't eat like a caveman. Bring some tools. <laughs> have your uh, knives and forks and spoons, anything that you're going to need for your lunch. Take those with you. And if you do eat on the road like me, uh, you'll probably want to have some nice wipes to clean your hands because all those door handles and um, railings that you've been touching throughout the day keeping your hands clean is a really important part before you start eating once you've got the tools then it's about just making your lunch and my solution that I've always said is uh, why not just make it the night before and if you're making dinner just take out your Tupperware containers and take your food that's left over from dinner and put them in your Tupperware containers as you're cleaning up the kitchen then you don't have to pull everything out again the next day um, and then you can reuse those leftovers in different foods so for example if you have leftover chicken why not make a nice whole grain wrap so you could take your tortilla throw in some chicken pieces I like to put avocado maybe some t um, cherry tomatoes um, and maybe some uh, grated cheese in there for a really delicious wrap and that's nice and simple but also if you have some beans or if you're looking for an extra um, protein food um, let's say lentils for example you could add these to your leftover roasted vegetables with some feta cheese and a little bit of oil and vinegar dressing and have that in a nice Tupperware container or if you prefer to have something like black beans add in your black beans with some lime juice maybe Maybe some hot sauce, um, some bell peppers, and cherry tomatoes, and make a nice um, southwest salad, or even adding in some edamame, a nice protein food as well. So throwing together your leftovers with a few vegetables, make sure that you have a source of protein in there. So whether it's edamame or beans or chicken or egg, um, make sure there's lots of vegetables in there. And then have something that you brought along for your snacks as well. And if you need to eat out, just make sure you're choosing something that has lots of vegetables. Look for a source of protein in there. And if it's a really large portion, consider sharing with a friend or maybe even taking some home. Avoid anything that's really deep fried because that's going to give you way more fat than you need. And you can ask for sauces on the side for some items as well. And if you are going to bring your lunch and you tend to forget some things, why not stick a sticky note on your door that says, lunch, don't forget me. And finally, if you need some more ideas for your lunches, go to nutritionmonth2015.ca. That's nutritionmonth2015.ca. And if you want to know anything else from Diana, you can contact her 604-739-3290 or check out her website, eatingforenergy.com. You can also follow Diana on Twitter at eatingforenergy.